the 38th parallel in two villages. As the summer brought in the frost, this hard oak village now left cold. Its kind, a bold teak, its floors burnished with the kindest soybean oil. As the child stepped across the threshold, the line, its wood creaking, as if the Schiller artist had imposed red on a temple bell, its carvings and ornate embroidery, its shape like an upturned urn, ashes gone, as if this winter were dipped in a deep russet, more lacquer as paint, as if the demons would drop a straw roof from the father's pillars to rebuild the hano, its roof a softer bark, the curvature like a hill, as if a soldier bent the bayonet blade to look into his eyes, glassy, as if an eternal lagoon rested in Pyosyon Beach, the low tide awash and out, the ocean of secrets swallowing more history and fiction, as if this fall would be a quiet autumn, austere as Sochuk Bridge, as if the slabs cut no corners, the stone and old clay now monitor. The kiln's fire at once gilded and bloodied and settled on, like a ceramic pot, as if a family reached into it, drew threads of story and sentiment, as if a poem or song were lilted or lit along the hilt of a long sword, and asked for a poem or song in return, like an echo, the pain of loss, as if the seasons ended in spring and the trees turned into emblems as a historian brought a book to you and opened its black pages.